Let's make a dream catcher in one colour together. Okay, so these are the materials you are going to need for this dream catcher pattern. Um, yarn, corresponding hook, a ring or hoop to fit the right size of your piece. It doesn't have to be the exact same size as your finished piece. It can be bigger for a nicer look. Yarn, scissors and a darning needle. I'm using a 250 millimeter ring. Okay, so grab your pattern. It's available at my website, thelupistitch.com under free patterns and grab your materials. So we're just using a hook and yarn at this moment in time. So we're going to start with a magic ring. However you do your magic ring is fine. I'm using lovely green Natura Just Cotton from DMC. Okay, so it's time to focus in on what I'm doing. It's been a while since the video, sorry about that. I've been a bit unwell. So the first round is 16 double crochets in the ring. So I've done my chain three, which represents my first. And then we're going to go and make 15 more in the ring. I'm going to pause this video and return in one second. Okay, so I am now back. You would have paused the video, not me, but that's okay. And to finish off, we're just going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three that we made. I'm just going to pull the ring a little bit more closed, like so. And then round two asks for chain four, which counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. Gonna grab some more yarn. Oh, how awesome was Granny Square Day on Thursday? Oh, I love it. It's the best day in crochet world. I think it's pretty darn good. Um, so we're going to double crochet and chain one in each stitch around. So just into the actual stitch and a chain one and like so all the way around. You pause your video and continue and I will be back. I'm back, how did you go? I hope you went okay. To finish off, we are going to join with the slip stitch to the third chain. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit more. Like so. Ta so that's now rounds one and two completed. Next, we're going to slip stitch to the chain space like so then we're going to chain two which starts um or sorry which counts as the start of our double crochet two together <clears throat> oh goodness whenever i do videos my voice goes funny which is really weird so and then the double crochet to complete that cluster and then we are going to chain five two three four five and do a double crochet cluster two together sorry if I'm a bit out of focus in each stitch so yarn over insert pull up a loop like so only do one part of your double crochet and then we're going to repeat again yarn over insert pull up a loop and we're going to pull through two loops so we have three pretty loops on our hook and then to finish the stitch Yarn over and pull through all three. Chain your five and then do the same thing in the next stitch. So I'll show you again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then again, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and there's our pretty three, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And chain your five. I'm going to keep going. You pause your video and I'll be back. When we finish this round. How did you go? So we've almost finished this round. We are going to make a slip stitch to the top of the first. Oh goodness. I had you in focus. I must have moved. <laughs> Sorry. We are going to finish this round with a 
slip stitch into the top of the first cluster made like so ta-da and then to start round four we're going to slip stitch in the first two stitches of the chain five which might be a little tricky with the first one so however you want to get your slip stitch in there and then the next one because it's just to get to the middle of the chain five loop okay now I'm going to make a single crochet in <laughs> I'm going to try like so and then I'm going to chain seven four five six seven and then make a single crochet in the next chain five loop ta-da and then chain seven again six seven and then single crochet so just continue to do that around and I will be back okay I'm back you've unpaused so to finish off we are going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet since designing this pattern I have learned that there are ways to actually finish the round instead of doing a complete last lot of chains for your last part you actually do like a certain amount and then a corresponding stitch worth the rest of the chain so that you are actually finishing at the point of where you need to be instead of having the slip stitch no, I don't even know if that all made sense, but anyhow, we are now on to round five. Same thing, we're going to just slip stitch into the first three of our chain seven just to get us on the way to being at our midway point in the chain seven loop. One, two, three, and then again, we are going to single crochet in the chain seven loop like so and then oops sorry did you even see that okay now we're going to chain nine two three four five six seven eight nine single crochet into the next chain seven loop ta-da and then chain nine again Eight and nine and then single crochet into the next loop so I'm get you to pause the video and continue to do that until we have just about finished this round be back I'm back oh you're back too okay so we are going to finish this round off with a slip stitch into the first single crochet made like so and then we are going to slip stitch in the first four stitches of chain nine to take us up to that spot this is a nice whoopsie this this yarn is beautiful but it's so splitty oh <laughs> are you even in focus focus woman okay that's only number two three and four okie dokie so now we've done our four focusing on you again going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and then I'm going to make three more double crochets just in this one two and three like so then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then working in the next chain nine loop or space, we're going to make five double crochets. There's a reason why we only started with four. So I'll show you in a second when we get around there. Three, four, and five and then we're going to chain three two three and do another double crochet five one two oh sorry running out of yarn it's a pretty color i do like it 
Okay, back into focus. There. Yeah. Three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to now chain three and then five double crochets in the next chain nine loops. So I shall return, pause the video, and we'll be back in a second. Hello again. So I've just completed the last of the five doubles in the last chain nine and we're back to the start and we're going to make a double to finish this round and then join with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain three like so then to start round seven we're just going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch so that we are now working in the middle of our five double crochets so from there we're going to chain three oopsies two and three which counts as a single crochet plus chain two and then I'm going to make a double crochet chain three and double crochet into this chain space here one two three and into there uh oh splitty in, into there then I'm going to chain two and make a single crochet into the middle or the third double chain two and then again we're doing double crochet chain three double crochet and then chain two then slip the uh, single crochet into the middle or third double crochet chain two and then complete the process around pause the video and continue and i will be back in a minute how did you go we're back so I've done the last little bit of the repeat where I chain three and double crochet and then I've chained two. So we're going to join to the first uh, single crochet, which is the chain one stitch in this one, just with a slip stitch. Or I could technically single crochet, but we'll just do a slip stitch. And then to start the next round, it's the same again so we're going to chain three which counts as the single crochet and chain two or you can literally just do what I'm doing and chain one single crochet chain two whichever you prefer and then we're going to be working in the chain three here so we're going to make a double crochet three together so it's exactly the same as down here with our little cluster so yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop <laughs> see let me see so you can't even focus the splittiness of this yarn there we go so now i've got three on here we're going to pull through after doing yarn over all four loops Ta -da! and then we're going to chain two like so and then do another one of these in here so once again yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and one more like so we have four loops and we're going to yarn over and pull through all of those then we get to chain two and then single crochet back into the single crochet down here like so then chain two and then have enough oh goodness my yarn is running everywhere so we have enough yarn let me focus back in there so same thing again our double crochet three together one two three yarn over pull through all four loops chain two coming in again you focus i wish my camera had auto focus auto focus auto focus alas it does not that's why sometimes you'll see me 
slow down my chain of my chain <laughs> is it my chain of thought anyhow slow down my thinking and then I'll be like lose my hand and I'll refocus for you so we're going um, yarn over and pull through all four chain two then make that single crochet back into that single crochet and then repeat around all right pause the video make your round and we'll be back in a minute okie dokie so I'm just gonna move my focus up to there ah, yay that will help I've just I finished that round and we're going to join again with a slip stitch to the first single crochet or the first chain of your chain three whichever method you chose golly gosh let's just start that splitty whole thing again okay make sure you're in focus slip stitch yahoo okay so now we're on to round number 10 gosh we're at no, nine, because 10 is the last round. Far out, that's gone quick. Okay, let's refocus you in. So we're going to chain seven, which counts as a treble plus chain three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm gonna make a treble stitch back into the same stitch as where we started. Ta-da, like so. Then, chaining one, then I'm going to make a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the chain two here. So just like normal, chain three, double crochet. Then we're going to chain one. So in between each, I'm going to call them like V stitches is what I call them on my pattern. If you're doing the different colored version, you've got your treble, your V trebles and your V doubles. Both have a chain three and they both have a chain one before and after. So that's a nice little way to remember. So in your single crochet, we're doing the V trebles, if you like to call it that, or treble, chain three, and a triple there. Chaining one, working into that chain two space, going to make our V double crochet. So double crochet, chain three, double, and then our pretty little chain one. So continue with that around, pause the video, and we'll be back to finish the second part of this round, or just to join it. See you soon. Okay, so to finish off round nine, we are going to make a slip stitch into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. There we go, the first chain seven made, like so. I might come in a little bit closer. Then round 10 to complete this little dream catcher pattern basically is two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets in each chain three space followed by just a single crochet in where we did a chain one so let's start it's up to you if you'd like to do a chain one to start your little just to bring it up your round so two single crochets chain two two single crochets like so single crochet in the chain one so two single crochets chain two two single crochets single crochet in the chain one pretty easy straightforward pause your video finish that round off and we shall return oh basically we're slip stitching to the first stitch made but um do that and we'll be back in a second Okay, so I've just finished making the last single crochet in the chain one space and I've cut my yarn. So I'm just about to pull through and just do an invisible join. We're going to be attaching. So I've made the chain two points for that reason so that you attach through each chain two point. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail. So you go over the ring, come back under and insert 
into the chain two space ah, and over again now you can do it under and over under and over whichever way you like this is just the quick easy way to attach to a ring I have another video which is I another method that I used for my Connie's ray of hope which is where we actually crochet it over the ring what have I done oh there you just got entangled there we go so it's gone back over and I'm coming underneath and inserting into the chain two space oh dear my other little tail keeps getting caught <laughs> Real life video, bloopers and all. That's cool, shows you I'm human. We're all human. Okay, I'm just going to pull my tail, there we go. So basically you just do this all the way around until you have your piece completely finished and attached like so. I'm not gonna finish it on this because it doesn't quite fit. But that's how you join it to well that's one method if you like that particular one I would really like this to be stretched a little bit more so this is a 250 I'd probably even go depending on how much stretch I can actually get I'll see if I can zoom oop, way out for you and refocus just there how much stretch I would actually like let's flip the ring so that it is quite taut because when you do attach it to your ring you don't want it to be having a big droop in the bottom so yes that is the dream catcher my free pattern on my website all in one color 